Hello, and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. Right now, we are supposed to go to the MPT Control Center and retrieve an AAC unit to gain access to the MPT Control Center. Okay, um, as I understand, we are on the surface now. Station power very low. We're in Diagnostic and MPT Control Center. Okay, please open the doors. Where? Oh, here we have the open door. Copernicus Moon Hub, 2059, five years after the blackout. There's an audio log waiting for us. I thought I saw something, but it, it was probably just the light. To be completely honest, I left this game for like two, three months. So it's been some time since the last time we played it. Old Inspectable. I didn't understand what's with the why. And the computer also seems um, operational. AC, the software behind your faithful companion, written by Eric Range. Dear Sarah, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all the emotions you programmed in my AC. May this book inspire you to program many more. With regards, Rosal Laverde. Seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I am. Um... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in a dust storm on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughters exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern over Katie's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Katie. Katie was brought to the moon soon after. Why is this one marked like this? Oh, that's interesting. Expect the drawing? Me. <laughs> Mr. Me, Rosa, AC, and Teddy. <laughs> I thought so. Five lessons to make you a perfect parent. So. I guess he really did take it to heart. But he'll have to be their guardians. What's over there? Holograms? William MacArthur, Security and Transport Supervision.
World Secret Service. This is to certify that Chief Operations Director W. MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellent, vigilant, and distinguished service. MacArthur, brief update. The evacuees from Tum Tombaugh are settled in. MacArthur, the bedlam at Tombaugh can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Isaac Johansson, Lunar Council. Isaac, good. Then we can be begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Remember that no leap forward was ev has ever come without sacrifice, Isaac. Survival comes at a cost. Soon the events of Tomba will be just a faint memory. Time to leave this all behind. William MacArthur Rose Oliver, the lunar lead lunar research division. Objective MPT one hundred percent. Hmm. I don't think there was anything else there. Yeah, I'm looking for that, believe me. I do. Speech. Crossroads, Tombow, Earth. The best and brightest, the new age. Outward. This one's locked. And of course the only one that's open is the one with holograms. William, what the hell was that speech about? Um, it's chapter Rosa. It's time. The ship will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we're not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is this really... <laughs> After an om ominous speech, Lunar Council member William MacArthur comes to collect his colleague, Dr. Rosa Leverde, for a mysterious journey. Outrage. She refuses to join him and contends that the MPT and Earth can be safe. MacArthur doesn't take no for an answer and forces her to come with him. Hmm. Maintenance required, unfortunately. I don't think that we have the right tools. But we'll take it nonetheless. The only option is through here. Can I... Yes, I know. Can I put you here? No. You need to be operational. No, oh, I think something loaded in. Around a 
little bit. Why not? Actually, I think we cannot interact with um, with other things as long as we are carrying you. So let's fix you. And how am I supposed to do that? That's the thing. One of three components necessary for replacing the ASC's union network access port. Okay. Oh, there is the second one. That's a great idea, make me hunt for things while we are here. Oh, I can toggle each one of those. I hope that maybe one of those will hold the part necessary, but doesn't look like it. Oh. Wasn't that closed? Trying to remember. Oh, R is a flash. Is the flashlight? Um, this one. Turn, turn. Not this one. Um. Oh, um... No, um... What it... Mm. Okay... Um... Next part will be this. Okay. Mm, replace network components, put ASC cover lid back in place. ASC network access port is replaced. Successful. ASC connection to Moonhub facility network is established. Proceeding with ASD hardware diagnostics. ASD's roster established. Defective. Full cluster replacement is advised. So we are looking for some plates. Still my center of gravity. Liz. Yeah, 
Young Claire Johansson claims WS a competition trophy. In the stunning conclusion to a neck-to-neck -neck race, undergrad student Claire Johansson, daughter to Lunar Council member Isaac Johansson, has claimed first prize in the WASA, WSA's prestigious World Our Future competition. An initiative of the WSA, the biennial Bin competition is the largest of its kind and stimulates innovation of space travel and sustainable development technologies. Head WSA scientist and Lunar Council member Rosa Laverde heads the jury herself. Claire Johansson's entry testifies of brilliance rarely seen at her age, commented Dr. Laverde on Johansson's design. The efficiency and durability of her rocket's design is exceptional and stands out from the rest. As part of her prize, Claire Johansson has received an open invitation to join Dr. Rosa Laverde's research team on the moon. But in a remarkable turn of events, young Johansson has expressed no interest in joining. Unprecedented, Dr. Laverde remarked. Hmm. Hmm. I will open one, all of them. Well, at least I'll try. Hi Isaac, I know you're busy, but could you install a new module to my ASC soon? Lead engineer Sava Breaker from Pearson Space Station has designed an additional emotion module that seems fascinating. Would, it would mean the world to Kefi too, Rosa. Hi Rosa, I apologize, but presenting matters at Tomba require my full attention for the next few months. Besides, you know how dearly Kefi wants an ASC of her own. She hasn't stopped asking for one ever since you showed her yours. How are her growth results? Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Of course, our duties come first. As for Katie, I need to be honest with you. The test results are in and she's not at all growing like a girl her age should. I worry for her health, Isaac. Maybe she was better off on Earth after all. Please, at least consider the program. Rosa. Rosa, you know that she would be no better off on Earth than here. I'll think about the program. Thank you. You mean a lot to her, Isaac. Oh, I really thought you would give me some thrusters, replacements in here, but it does not seem to be the case. I think there were some in the storage over here in the case or not mm -hmm. some things can be really difficult to find over here in this game they might look very similar Okay, the wing is removed, thrust parts on the table. Where is it? I wish we had the um, mm, 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 he quest helper of Isaac's from Dead Space sometimes, really. That's all? I think that's all. Okay, what does it say, the biggest one? Um.
Okay, so this is not the first one. We have the first one installed already. Um, so the next one that would fit is... Oh, just grab this. Thank you. The next one would be... I am honestly trying to understand what I see there. I think this one. Okay. Now we still need one. I think this one. Okay. Um. Perhaps this one. No, definitely not. Um. Mm -hmm. Now this. And the last one is you. Oh, okay, uh, I am supposed to do that one. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Um this is not open. This is not open. Wait. I think he also has a flashlight. This is your flashlight, okay. And yours has a cooldown. Where is it? Um, there. No. from upstairs it's extremely difficult to see anything in here currently Give me a moment, I need to check something. Oh yeah, I had to raise the brightness on my screen. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Where are you, little guy? There you are. Great. Come on, go in there. Um, okay, not like I have any other choice. Yes, there we are. Another one. Okay, and I'll end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.